Oh man, I've been waiting a long time for this. Trust me, today we've got some bangers. So today I got a few things that I really want to show you guys. I'm super excited about it. I've been waiting a long time for it to ship in. And listen guys, we've got an early look at Drake's upcoming sneaker. So we'll take a look at that. But first, I want to start out by congratulating anybody who managed to get exclusive access on these yesterday. This is the Jordan 1 Lost and Found, as I'm sure you guys are very well aware. It is like all anybody can think about right now the release is in like a week or two and the nike sneakers app just did exclusive access for this pair of sneakers trust me this is a pair that i think you're really going to be happy with getting i'm just so hyped that i've actually got it in hand of course i dropped a review on them so if you want to see the full review if you want to get hyped up before the release feel free to go check it out but yeah just wanted to show you guys these and of course congratulate anybody who actually managed to get exclusive access if you didn't don't worry cross your fingers for the 19th when they officially release so good luck for that one either way let's Let's get into the actual packages. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this one because this is the one that I've been waiting the longest for. This is a very interesting one because I've been trying to get my hands on this, what's inside the box for a very long time, and now finally I've got it. I'm not too sure how many of you guys will actually know this brand from just seeing the box. So uh, I'm just gonna stop hyping it up and just actually unbox it and show you guys what we got here. Okay, guys, we got ourselves the famous honey hoodie. This is just such a uniquely designed hoodie that I don't even know how long ago I actually saw this. I don't even know where I saw it floating around on Instagram. The designer's name is Mona Thomas and her brand that she created is called Honey Design. And she makes some of the coolest designs. Like all of her products are actually super sick and really unique. Now there's only, I believe, like four different colorways that you can get this in. This is one of the newer ones. Um, I really wanted to get the gray colorway, but they sold out like that. So let's try this thing on and let's see how it fits. And perfect fit. I can't even remember. I think this is a large. I think you could only get two sizes, which is a large and an extra large. But yeah, this fits perfect. Look at that neck area. It's just so unique. I mean, you put the hood up. It's just nicely like... <laughs> I look like a Teletubby. This hoodie is absolutely sick. Huge fan of it. The only thing is there's no pockets. I wouldn't mind. I always, when I'm wearing a hoodie, I'm just like, you know, I go to put my hands in the pockets, but yeah, no, uh, no pocket on this one. It's nicely cropped. It's a perfect fit. I'm a big fan of this hoodie, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. This is a honey hoodie. All right, let's move on to the next one. This sneaker that I absolutely battled to get my hands on, and finally I managed to get my hands on it. Sir, we got him in. Then another forbidden box. I had to get this sneaker. I knew that these things are just gonna be impossible to get in the future. One of the last like musts for me in terms of Yeezy sneakers. So I pulled the trigger, the Yeezy 350 Zebra. So uh, I bought these off of eBay. As you can see, you get the little authenticated uh, guarantee, I guess, authenticity. And also look at this, pretty cool what they send in the box as well. I guess this is from the original owner who actually sent me the invoice. That's from Adidas, so we've got like order number and everything. Awesome. It's just one of those iconic 350s that you just, you, you gotta have. And I thought, you know what? I don't have a pair. I need to pick a pair up. I actually tried on StockX, on Goat, and on eBay, and four different times the seller canceled. And every time they canceled, they started putting the price up. I started off with like the first purchase that I made at like 270, 260 pounds, and that quickly went up to finally securing this pair. And I only paid 300 and I think 15 pounds for these so it's not the worst but it's definitely not the best considering these were literally lined up for a restock obviously October the 25th is when the Yeezy Adidas deal ended so yeah these didn't end up dropping but I got a fresh pair I'm super stoked about this this pair is going straight on my shelf and then have a completely 350 wall. I think I'm pretty much good for Yeezys now. I don't think I desperately need any other one. At least not that I can think of. Like, I don't know. Prices are going up. Let me know if you guys relate to that. Did you go out and pick up any Yeezys after you heard the news of Adidas and Yeezy splitting? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. We secured the zebras. Let's keep it moving. We're gonna take a look at these Drake shoes, guys. All right, last one. We've got to take an early look at these upcoming Drake sneakers. Here is what the box looks like, kind of like a regular Air Force One. As you can see, you've got the text kind of over the Nike branding. It says, love you forever. Um, and then I think that's pretty much it. 
Oh, you've got there on the back, it says in association with Nocta. This is a Nocta branded sneaker, which obviously is Drake's brand. Inside, no special paper necessarily. I mean, you've got the Nocta logo over there, but I mean, nothing crazy. Okay, here we go. This is the uh, the Drake certified lover boy Air Force One. And honestly, I mean, it's a regular Air Force One. So here they are, guys. You do get some extra special little bits over here. So over here with the the sneaker you get these little beads which is really interesting I guess you could uh, spell out all kinds of things I'm not even entirely sure maybe it has the entire alphabet on these beads but that's pretty cool and then you also get an extra pair of white laces these ones have special tips for the aglet In general it's pretty much an Air Force One like take a look at this you can see all over white nothing changed here except for down here you can see it says love you forever again leather is definitely better like I actually really like the feel of this leather it feels thick it feels way better than a regular Air Force One and then you also get the Nocta branding on the insole but that's about it oh yeah and then you get the little hearts over here instead of the diamonds uh, for like underneath the sneaker overall these are pretty much a regular Air Force One you're just getting the Drake flex honestly I think it's kind of genius people love the Air Force One they love the all-white Air Force One and if they can get a little bit more of a premium version I think people are going to eat these up just like the Supreme Air Force One. People absolutely loved those things and literally it was a regular Air Force One with a tiny little Supreme logo and I think that's what the power of the Air Force One has. All you have to do if you're going to collaborate on an Air Force, just literally slap a little bit of a name here. Obviously this is tied to Drake and people will absolutely love it or at least I think. Well, we'll see what happens when the release comes around. So I believe the release date on these is December the 2nd. If I'm not mistaken, they have been pushed back a lot. Of course, I'll have a full review up on the channel at some point point soon but yeah let me know what you think of these things do you like the fact that it is just a regular air force or are you just like i'll just get the regular air force you could have a little competition down in the comment section which one do you prefer which drake sneaker do you prefer the hot step air terra nocta or the certified lover boy air force one let me know down there but listen guys that is pretty much it that's all i got for you guys today thank you so much for coming through hanging out for yet again another one thank you for liking commenting and of course subscribing I'll catch you guys in the next one, but until then.